This is lesson 94 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson, iterate through an array with a for loop, says a common task in JavaScript is to iterate through the contents of an array. One way to do that is with a for loop. This code will output each element of the array, R, to the console. So we have this array, R, that contains 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have a for loop here, initializes i to 0. And it says as long as i is less than the length of our array, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So as long as i is less than 5, we're going to continue incrementing i by 1. And as long as that is true, we're going to console log r i being whatever part of the loop we're in. It starts off at 0, so we'd console log index 0 of r, which would be 10, and it would just go through the loop until it would print 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Because, again, we start with i is 0, which would target index 0 in the array here. And then it goes back through the loop. i becomes 1. 1 is less than the length of our array. So then we console log one, uh, r index 1, which would be a 9, so we would go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then it would stop. So remember that arrays have zero base numbering, which means the last index of the array is length minus 1. Our condition for this loop is i less than r dot length, which stops when i is at length minus 1. Instructions declare and initialize a variable total to zero. Use a for loop to add the value of each element of the my r array to total. So I think they give us an example, which they do here. We can actually look at. So they have our r, which is an array which contains 9, 10, 11, and 12. Then they initialize our total which is going to be what our total is after these are gone through in the for loop here. So we have our for loop, which initializes i to 0. And then as long as 0 is less than the length of our, our r, which is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, so as long as i is less than 4, increment i by 1. So we start with i being 0. 0 is less than 4. So we go and run this part of our code, which is going to take our total, which is 0 at the moment, and it's going to add total to our r, whatever's in our r index 0, so it'd be 9. So 9 plus 0 is 9, so our total now becomes 9. So then we got to continue going through the loop, so 0 goes from, because this condition is all still true, so i becomes 1, and as long as 1 is less than the length of our r, which is 4, so 1 is less than 4, so we run this code. And now we take our total, which is now 9, and we're going to add 9 plus whatever is in index i of our r. And right now we are in 1, so index 1 contains 10. So it would add 9 plus 10, now we have 19. So this would just continue on doing that same process. So what we have to do is pretty much do the same thing says declare and initialize variable total to zero. So here we do total 
and we assign to it uh, they want let's just follow their instructions doesn't matter but we initialize it to zero like they ask us now we want to similarly as line six also do a for loop we're going to initialize i our counter to zero and we want to say as long as i is less than the length of my r we want to keep incrementing i plus one so remember uh, i plus plus is just i equals i plus one so we want this to happen we want to update our total to whatever index we're in in the loop so this is doing again the exact same thing this one did right here it's just going through our array and it's adding each index that we're at in the loop to this total we made that starts at zero and that way each time it's going through the loop it's adding the next item in the array so we can add all these numbers up using this for loop so that should be it for this lesson total should be declared initialized to zero we did that you should use a for loop to iterate through my r and we did that we used the for loop and it iterates through my the contents of my r and that is it